Gonna check out the storage shed. I think it's that one. Ooh, I wonder if I have any old TVs in here. That'd be good. Because I've been having such a hard time finding old TVs in Silicon Valley. Wow, you cleaned up a bit in here. I got rid of the bed. Nice. So it was a little boy who needed a twin bed, and I figured we didn't need it. Always good. So I gave it away. I haven't really done much. I just tidied up and got rid of some empty boxes. And hopefully get this thing put in this week. Yeah. That'll make up some room. Only bold black and white TVs. One color, but kind of tiny. Okay, here we're, we're at the Litchfield Recycling Center. Let's see what kind of stuff we got. Well, there wasn't really much here today. First time I came by here, there was a original Atari 2600 box with all manuals and stuff inside of it. So it's finally time to fix the bad solenoid on my lawnmower. Here's the old one. It's probably original, I think. And here's the new one. Not exactly the same one, but eh, it'll work. Kind of interesting that it actually comes with two connectors on the back and a wire. Because the other one, it has the ground of the coil and of the starting part already inside of it. So you just have to provide positive to one pin. But here, they give you the option in case you have a, a, a vehicle that works differently that has to have two different wires going to the solenoid to power the coil and then two for the pass-through for the starter. So here's what I have set up. The solenoid is bolted down with one bolt. I'll bolt it down a little harder. I forgot that. There we go. Bolt it down nice and hard. So we have just pretty much the same thing, just configured in a different way. But now, whenever I turn the key, it should turn. Check that out. Let's get it back together, which shouldn't be very hard at all. We just simply put this on here. Make sure those two holes line up. Now thankfully, since I've added this propane tank on the back, I don't have to ever worry about bolting this thing back on, because originally I had four bolts on here that it'd be tedious to take off. But now that I have this on here, I can just hook that down and it holds it on fine. nice and good and this then goes down underneath here and I just plug it in where the gasoline used to go there we go now that should work
why I fixed that solenoid was so I, I could let my mom drive it because she needed a mower. Because with me gone, I, she can't, I, I can't mow it. Gotcha. Did you do that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I just want to let you know, though, you're having some issue going through that, so yeah. you, you can pull this back okay. to increase the speed. Before, I, I wasn't meaning like you'd have to really worry too much about blowing up the engine. I still just, don't want to. I don't uh, want to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just always worried because if you if, if like you have this down right. and you're not going, like if you if you have it in neutral and you're not running the blade. Mm -hmm. And you, and you bring it down, it'll start going extremely fast, and I, I always see. hate that. So but this is just the blade going down? Yeah, that's just the blade going down. It always got me because that switch in here, it doesn't detect it even if it's like this. So you just have to put it yeah. all the way in, and then it starts it. All right. Okay. I can mow some more if you want. Huh? I can mow if you want, or do you really want to? No, you can mow. Okay, I don't, I don't care. I will mow again before you leave to make sure I have it. Yeah. I, well, I mean, it is your... Uh, it is your... Uh, your uh, it's it, your baby. Well, well, no, it, it's 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 my great grandfather. It's your grandfather's lawnmower, so it's, sure. e it's equally owned by both of us. Yes, but you've mastered it. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Okay, so Mode. So do you want to mow it again? Sure. Okay. It'll, it'll get you accustomed to it. Oh, before I forget, Raymond Earl always says hi, in, hi in the comments. So Raymond Earl says hi, and a bunch of other people always say hi. Like I can't remember you guys' names now, but oh well. Okay, yeah, so you just poof it a little bit back here to get some propane in the system. Then stretch your arm. My mom went to Litchfield, we went to Rural King, and picked up a solenoid, starting solenoid, for the lawnmower. I wired it up, and it finally is working. That's probably the first time that it's really worked in like a year and a half, because that solenoid died, died pretty soon after I converted it to propane. Now that it's, that it's working by the key start, and I don't have to just arc over the terminals with a chisel, I feel a lot safer about having my mom run it whenever I'm not here because before I didn't want my mom blowing herself up and now it's a little bit easier still it's not totally easy because you have to fiddle with the knob a lot and the clutch and or well the clutch too but all the choke and stuff like that but oh well it's a little easier and a little safer now because you're not ha making a lot of sparks because before it, when I started I'd turn on the propane then make a bunch of sparks and hope it wouldn't explode on me 
It never did yet. It backfired pretty bad, though. So then I started my hard drive copying over because you guys may remember that whenever I went out to California, I backed up all my information on a 3 terabyte drive, so it's my backup, and I went out there. Well, then I... I was messing around with Ubuntu, trying to install Ubuntu on a computer. I happen to have that drive attached to it, and the Ubuntu install doesn't really show which hard drive is which. It just kind of shows ran, somewhat random, or hard to determine characteristics about the hard drive. So I ended up formatting the drive on accident, and so I didn't really have any of my stuff. I didn't have a lot of my music or whatever, so I had to go back and like ask my mom to, to Skype me some of the music and stuff like that. For the ending of the videos, and actually, like for instance, the the clip on the the, the thanks for watching and the end of most of my videos for the since since I went I moved out to uh, California has actually been just a screen a screen grab from one a random random video of mine at 720p, and then I just scale it up every single video. I just scale it up, so it looks kind of crappy now, but oh well. Oh, I also got my hair cut. My mom cut my hair a little bit. I say a little bit. It's actually cut like eight or eight to ten inches off. Because I was having issues that whenever I'm riding my tricycle, the, uh, the wind blows my hair around and makes it all knotted up and it's kind of annoying. And also, it's it's been needing a haircut and this is kind of nicer. Also, I find that it's actually kind of short enough to where it's kind of nice just to have down because before it was too long to have down it kind of just it'd get all over the place and it 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 really always try to get around the side of my shoulder but this doesn't seem to try to get around the side of my shoulder that much so it's pretty nice actually I have a lot of hard drives going i kind of the stuff on the internal drive I'm trying to put everything onto that three terabyte drive now i had everything copied over to it but then I discovered it only copied like half the files. For some reason, Windows 7 didn't copy half the directories. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So I'm copying over each like uh, smaller like batches of files and I'm checking the sizes. And now it's going okay. It might just be that before I had like eight versions of copies going on all at the same time. So it was just messing up the system. But oh well. Oh, and don't worry. The weather is just like Illinois. Tornado watch right now, and a really bad storm just went over. So. I don't feel like I missed out on the average Illinois weather this year. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!